tried to help Bridget through the delivery, and she was really scared. And I don't blame her. And then a couple of days later, she just gave me the baby. Just like that? Yes, she came up to me at Kelly's and asked me to take her. She said that she couldn't be a mother. She had no means to take care of her child. And Jason and I, we, we have had her ever since. The three of us have bonded. We love this little girl so much, and we just want to, we want to give her a good home with a mother and a father, just a really great life. Thank you. Ms. Daly. Yes, Your Honor. To your knowledge, is the statement that we just heard true? Yes. Then why do you want your baby back? I gave birth to this baby, Your Honor. I'm her mother. The biological father is unknown? Yes, Your Honor. Do you care to elaborate? I slept with a lot of guys back then, but it doesn't matter who the father is. I chose to have the baby. You also chose to hand her off to a stranger in a diner. She wasn't exactly a stranger. I mean, Sam's really nice. But Courtney's told me that I should go after my dreams and find a way to get what I want. I want my baby back. How old are you? Sixteen. Mm -hmm. Are you in school? I'm starting back. You're charged with assaulting a teacher. It was an awful school. So is your record. Drunk and disorderly, possession of a controlled substance, assaults, resisting arrest. You seem to prefer the street to any foster home. You don't want to go to school. You don't have any parents, no skills, no direction, no money, and a violent temper. These are not good credentials for a parent. I'm trying to do better. And how do you plan to take care of the child? I'm working as a waitress. How long have you had this job? Two days. I see. I can ask Courtney's Foundation for help and the state. I know that I can pull this together. And why is that? Because I believe in myself now, thanks to Courtney. And I really hope you believe in me, too. Anything else? No, Your Honor. Can I have my baby back now? I haven't made my decision yet. Oh. You may be seated. I'm not ready to render my decision at this hearing. The minor child will remain in her present situation for the time being. You've all spoken from the heart, and I appreciate that. If you have anything else you'd like to say, my email address is on the Family Court website. I've already met with your lawyers. I'll be in touch. Thank you. Ms. Matthews, you didn't have very much to say at the hearing. I'd like to take a break and then meet with you privately. Is the hearing over? Uh, the judge wants to speak with me privately. Oh. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Well, actually, I just dropped by for a moment to have a shareholders meeting, but oh, I'll escape as okay. quick as I can. It's okay. It's fine. Just tell the judge the truth, okay? But remember, no matter what happens, I'm on your side. Ms. Matthews, you may come in. I'm going to go talk to her. Keep an eye on her. I'm not supposed to talk to you. Look, Bridget, let's make out a deal, okay? You can be a part of Hope's life like an aunt or something, and you can see her whenever you want. I'm not going to make a deal to see my own daughter. Things got so messed up. I just wanted to give you all the things that I never had. Pritchard, we can do that, you know. All of us together, we can make it happen. Good night, sweetie. I'll see you soon.
All right, tell me I made everything worse, yeah. didn't I? You, you are trying to compromise someone who doesn't even know Jason, she's I know, I know she's just a kid, but I want to shake her. You know, why did she do this to us? Why is she going to give us her baby? Tell us to love her, make her happy, and... And we'll just take her away. She's too messed up to see that she's being selfish. Look, why don't... Yeah, why don't I'm going to take, take her home, okay? Yeah. You got it? Yeah. be Sam and that must be Hope. Who are you? I'm Rita Sullivan. I'm this beautiful little girl's great-grandmother. Hi. Hey, how'd it go? Where's Bridget? Well, uh, every, everyone left. So what would you say to the judge? I, uh, I told her that you and Sam would be great parents and that the baby should stay with you. Is she asking about my work? She, she asked me if I thought you could provide a safe home for the baby. What would you tell her? I'm sorry, Jason, but I had to tell her the truth. Not to be rude, but why are you here? Um, I was traveling in Europe. Uh, I was contacted by uh, Grace Powell from Social Services. She told me Bridget had a baby and that the child had been placed with you and Mr. Morgan. Right, but I don't understand because the night Bridget had the baby, she was living on the streets. Why weren't you around then? It's complicated. My daughter was difficult. Bridget's father was a disaster. The way they lived... Uh... No one could have survived very long. Why didn't you take Bridget when they died? I tried to, but she was out of control even then. I never should have gotten the police involved, but I did. She ended up in foster care. She wouldn't return my phone calls, and she refused to see me. So you left for Europe? If you're implying that I ran away, you're right. I couldn't help Bridget, and it was painful watching her ruin her life before she'd even had a chance to live it. But the baby's another matter. I want my great-granddaughter to live with me. Look, Hope already has a home with Jason and me. We love her so much, and she is really happy here. And if you want to do what's best for your great-granddaughter, you will leave her with us. 